10 moves to blast those abs with a dumbbell. Here we go. What's going on, Coach Brian right here with Alex and we are from criticalbench.com and we're gonna be giving you the 10 must do moves with the dumbbell for those abs. You heard it right, 10 moves that are gonna absolutely get that midsection shredded and chiseled and ready for anything that you need to do to take your shirt off. That's right, so get, your, get ready, get your dumbbell. Doesn't have to be heavy because these are gonna be the moves that are gonna get you locked and loaded. Here we go. So grab one dumbbell, we're gonna start with the low high chop. Wide stance, you're taking that weight, starting low and chopping up and across. Knock this out, five, 10 reps, good range of motion, reaching down, reaching up. After you knock out your reps on that side, obviously you would go to the other side. Same thing right there. Get a good twist in that midsection, let the legs do some of the work, the arms are gonna do the rest. So that's a great exercise for this entire section, the sides, your abs, all that good stuff. All right, next one is gonna be the lunge twist. So make a little bit of room, holding that dumbbell in two hands, you're gonna step forward, and whatever leg's in front, you're twisting to that side. Step back, alternate, step, twist. Again, all the movement is coming from the, the legs during the lunge, and then once you twist, that's when you get those abs involved. Don't yank that spine as hard as you can. Ease into it. The further you hold the weight out, the harder it gets. So if you're brand new to this, keep the weight close to the chest and you'll be feeling pretty good. All right, helicopters are next. Ooh, I'm already out of breath a little bit. So grab both dumbbells. You're gonna be in a push-up position to start. So right underneath you. Actually, it's a neutral push-up. So hands, palms facing, facing in. And then wide stance with the feet. And you're gonna pivot and extend that arm up. Slowly lower it down. Switch sides. Up, down. It's okay if you shift your lower body around a little bit to help stabilize. But you definitely wanna get a good, keep going, Alex a good rotation in that mid back, that mid section there. And if you're feeling unstable, go a little wider with the feet or even lighten up the, the resistance so you're able to get that good range of motion. All right, up on our feet. Windmill, grab one dumbbell. Wide stance, you're gonna start with one arm, the dumbbell up overhead. Keep that dumbbell pointed straight up towards the ceiling. Take that opposite hand, slide it down, Try to touch the floor, stand back up. That arm's gotta stay locked, keep it up overhead. The knees can bend just a little bit, but most of the movement, keep going Alex, is coming from right in there. The heavier you go, the harder this exercise gets. And obviously, if it's too challenging, or you can't keep your arm extended, or you can't go all the way down, lighten that thing, and then work on, work on that. Perfect. Moving into the side bend. Now would be a good time to subscribe to our channel while we're catching our breath, and you as well. So hit that subscribe button. There's also that little tiny bell. Click that, that's the notification bell. So next time we upload a video, you'll be alerted. So side bend, grab one dumbbell on the side. Start with a tall spine, shoulder blades pulled back. Now you're gonna lower that dumbbell downward towards your knees, keeping that top shoulder pulled back. Stand upright. Now I know somebody out there is gonna complain and say that this is not a good exercise for the spine. It is if you do it correctly. If you do it under a controlled load, you're keeping that top shoulder pulled back and you're not going at a fast pace. So this is, can be a dangerous exercise just like every other exercise you do. It can be dangerous. Obviously we'd switch sides. If you do it correctly, under control and exactly how I t tell you to do it, you'll be fine. Sweet. Moving into that forward punch, grab both dumbbells. This one's a little dynamic. This one's a great stress reliever. Get your feet wide, athletic stance. Think of a boxer. So we're doing a forward punch. So you're holding one dumbbell still while you're punching out the other one, pulling back in. Now you're gonna integrate some rotation in here. 
Get that core fired up. This one's a high rep count. If you want to set a timer for 30 seconds, that's fine. If you want to go for a minute, knock yourself out. Definitely faster you go, the quicker you're going to get into that state of fatigue. Yeah, this one's a good one. Great finisher, but definitely make sure you're getting that rotation. If you're just punching straight out like this, it's mostly shoulders and chest, but you got to get that cross body movement going on for that rotation. So now we got that cherry picker. So two dumbbells, similar movement to the rotational punch. This time we're going overhead, alternating shoulder punch. Someone might say like these are loaded cannons or, and it's pretty much this right here, alternating overhead press. But what you're doing is you're going across the body just a little bit to get those obliques and to also hit some of that lower back as well. So this is a good core exercise, not just as, but core, punching straight up overhead and across. Keep going, Alex. As you can see, she's bending a little bit side to side. Like I said, if you go straight up, it's mostly a shoulder press, but getting that little side bend is where you need to be for this move. All right, good job, Alex. So we're getting through this together. We're almost done, we got a couple more. Go to the floor, this is a kneeling rollout. You've seen the ab wheel before. This is the similar thing as an ab wheel, but this time we actually have a little bit of resistance and two ab wheels. So it's the rollout, start on your knees and you're gonna slowly let the dumbbell roll through the hands. You're gonna slide it all the way out and then pull back in as best as you can. Now, depending on the type of dumbbell you have, it might be a little bit uh, more abrasive than an ab wheel, because again, you have to let the dumbbell roll through the hands. So have a loose grip on it. Take your time, pull back in. Very hard exercise, but it's definitely worth the challenge. All right, moving right into that Russian twist. Oh, we get to sit down for a minute. So Russian twist, very good exercise for the entire midsection. I'll show you from the side here. So you can hold the dumbbell one of two ways. You can hold it like this. I prefer to hold it like this. So you're gonna lean back, anchor those heels down to start, get positioned, lean back. And then once you're ready, pick those feet up, twisting side to side. Now you don't wanna just move the arms like this, like how I'm doing. You're not really doing anything for the midsection. You wanna twist with the arms. As you can see, Alex is doing a perfect job right there, rotating the entire body all the way across. The further out you bring your hands, like that rush or that lunge twist, the harder it gets. So bring your hands in close and keep it under control. Sweet. Lay on back, leg raise, toe touch. All right, so this one, start with your head and shoulders flat on the floor, holding your dumbbell over the chest. You're gonna straighten your legs out. You're gonna go into two, two step movement. So legs come up, and once your legs are up, you reach up. Ooh, get a little back fart going on here. Lower, <laughs> lower it down. <laughs> If you've never experienced a back fart from the gym, hear that? You like that? And <laughs> go down. Ah, can always count on the back fart. If you really want a good ab workout, just come work out with me and we'll do some of those guys. <laughs> Alex is getting a good workout today. There we go. Ah, ah, there we go. Finish that one off. <laughs> oh, that's a good way to end off on those 10 awesome dumbbell exercises for your abs. Hey, I hope you enjoyed these 10 exercises along with those back farts thrown in there. Thanks for watching this video. What I want you to do for me uh, is to help us out by subscribing to our channel if you haven't done so already. Click that subscribe button as well as that notification bell. Make sure that thing is clicked. But also I wanna give you a free workout. It's a five minute core workout that you can use, download it, 
and work, use it on your next core training day, your ab day, whatever you want to call it. Underneath this video, in that comment section, there's a link that's been pinned at the top. Click that, download that, have fun doing that. And as always, we welcome feedback, comments, questions, you name it, we want to hear it. So that's it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.